Hi everyone, it's me at MCore Videos and today's video is going to be a February favourites. So before I start this whole entire video, I want to really, really apologise for the lack of videos over the past like three months. Um I suppose uh Christmas, I had Christmas and I did have some really, really good Christmas videos. Uh, I didn't make them. Uh, I think it was because of the timing um, and just the way I think everything worked. It just didn't work out well. So unfortunately, I couldn't film those videos and put them up here. And I'm really sorry about that. And I'm really good too. But hopefully this Christmas, even this is long away, but hopefully we'll do it then. Um, then we had New Year. And uh, if any of you don't know, I'm doing my GCSEs this year. So uh, obviously, you know, I need to revise and prep for them, I suppose. Um... And I've just been busy also doing other stuff as well uh, with the channel, you know, to make sure it's all really nice. Uh, I've done a few bits of tweaking to make sure it was extra be better and I do and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, and so I want to put that out there. I really do. Sorry. However, I have got a lot of videos planned uh, at the moment. So hopefully they'll be all good and they'll come up here um, for the next so many months. Um, and uh, I'll tell you all now, I'm going on holiday in May. That's like months and months away, but that could be a vlog. And I love vlogging, and I know you all love the vlogs, so look forward for that, I suppose. Um, so to start all the videos off, I'm doing a February favourites. Um, and yeah, I suppose I don't know what I say. Uh, I do have a bit of more skincare than any other stuff um, because this year, not this year, this month, uh, well last month technically, um, I've been concentrating on my skin a lot uh, because spring is finally here. I'm so happy. I cannot wait for summer. Agree. I definitely can't. Um, and so I want my skin to look you know, more better, hydrated, smoother, just really, you know, healthier and better. Um, and so I've used a lot of products and you know what? I'll put the thumbs up and recommend them. That is what this video is about anyway, so might as well start with the first product, which I think actually has been mentioned in a favourites video before because I really do like it. It's the uh, Barry M Unicorn Primer Drops Beauty Elixir. Um, and this is actually an empty bottle because I've used it all. My new one is in my primer drawer because it's, you know, um, obviously it's a primer. Um, and I really, really like it um, in a way that, I mean, it's, I, I just say it really smells really nice. Um, so what it say? What, it's got fruits in it, which, what does it say? Super fruit, acai berry, goji berry, watermelon, and tamarind. Is that even a berry? Probably, I don't know. Um, um, and it smells, it smells absolutely amazing. And I... We'll use it more if it's got a really nice smell. I don't know what it is, but I just love smells like in a product. <laughs> um, and it leaves your skin nice and tacky for makeup. It has like a nice, dewy, healthy, glow to your skin, which uh, I really am here for because I want to make my skin look really healthy. And also, I do like it because I don't, I always had to mattify and powder my face, just mattify my face because I've got oily skin. Or combination oil of an oily T zone, and um, I can't do a dewy foundation without just of doing it because then it would look too oily, dewy. You get a picture. So adding a nice bit of this before foundation, it actually looks healthy beforehand with the powder on top of it. It just makes it look really, really healthy and nice, which is what I exactly want. Um, and I love the beauty. The not the beauty. Sorry, the um, droppers. I really love droppers at the moment. I have no idea why. And serum stuff at the moment. I don't know. I go through phases while I really like it at the moment, and I don't know why it's just serums and droppers and ah, I don't know. Um, and yeah, this is empty because I've used it because it obviously is a primer. I did use it as a primer. However, recently I've started using it as a serum as well as a primer. Um, not just at the same time. So if I can make it as a primer, serum if not. Um, and I did notice a bit of difference in my skin. It's more brighter, a lot more smoother. Um, what's it? Brightens, detoxifies, hydrates, and smoother skin. Smoother, yeah, and brighter. 
toxifies and bright, I know, brightens, toxifies and hydrates. I suppose my skin did feel more hydrated and more like moisturised and more plumpier. Um, I have been using other products to um, kind of mix in with that, do the same job, so it's probably that could have been them as well. But I definitely did some skin, so if you're after a primer um, or a serum that smells nice, does a good job, and I think it's like £8 as well, so not, that's not too bad. So, you know, I recommend this. Um, apparently, it's a dupe for the Fasali um, purple drops, elixir, that's it. <laughs> um, so, give them a go if you want to do that. So, another skincare product, uh, which I suppose could do the brightening, is the Clean and Clear Morning Energy Skin Brightening Daily Facial Scrub. Um, and that is pretty much my second bottle of that already. I love it. Normally, I will go out and just spray by a random face wash, random moisturiser, random toner, etc. But if it's something I really like, I will go out and buy it purposely. I am loving for this, especially now. I suppose it's spring, summer. I don't know what, but a bit of sun it makes me think it's like not not makes me think it is, but like makes me get summer vibes, spring vibes. And so I feel like this is giving me spring summer vibes. Um and. I'm really, really nice. I mean, I have noticed definitely my skin's a lot more brighter and smoother. I really do like exfoliating in the morning as well because my makeup goes a lot more, like, better, smoother. That's probably what they say, exfoliate before makeup. That's probably why. But um, I do really enjoy um, exfoliating in the morning, but also just it smells nice too and fresher. So it makes me feel, uh, skin feel more fresh, wide awake, and then I definitely really good for the morning like gives you a nice boost of energy and brighten you get what I mean it, it pretty much does in the packaging so I have really good um next skincare product this is going actually is let's have a go is the yes I'll go for this one the uh, revolution two percent hyaluronic acid plumping and hydrating solution so a few months ago I think revolution the makeup brand um release their skincare line and i wasn't in a huge rush to actually buy them i was like mm, um i'm not particularly fussed you know i'm not much of a serum person and stuff like that um but then i actually did a bit of a deeper like read into everything and this definitely drew me in more plumping and hydrating like i said since i've got a combo oily skin uh, I do find it quite hard to actually get a nice hydration to my skin without it looking oily, if that was any sense. And so this, like, it soaks in really quickly. I do not like anything that takes in ever to soak in because I want to go out the door, I want to do my makeup, I want to do things and sit down and go waiting for it to soak in. So it soaks in really quickly, uh, which is a bonus, like I've just said. Um, and I have noticed that my skin is a lot more like feels more hydrated and more like I don't know, but it feels it, it definitely feels a lot more hydrated, more smoother as well. It just feels a lot better. Um, that I definitely noticed it has worked. I use it morning and night, and like it recommends. And you know what? I think it's six pounds. So six pounds is a really good serum or solution. Um, if you want to do a nice TLC hydration boost your skin. So I really, really like it. I do want to try some of the serums with theirs. So I will be on the lookout for others. I have seen one thing. It's 10% nitric I think. I don't know, 1% zinc. It's the blemish and pore refining one. I want to give that a go. <laughs> so um, I will definitely see it hopefully um see if we might i see i've seen more results i know after because i've used it i don't know if you can see that a bit of it um i guess fill in the bottle i don't know but so far so good so next is i don't know if it's i mean it's mm, yeah it's a makeup item but i suppose it can be kind of classed as skincare not skincare but it's makeup because it's got like a lot of vitamins and good stuff here this game you don't find them in it. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix um, Foundation Anti Fatigue Foundation. I bought this with my birthday money, which you probably have seen my birthday haul, which I'll leave the link in the description below uh, if you haven't seen it already. Definitely worth a watch. Um, and I just bought it because like it was a run because obviously it was three for two, and I bought like two items about a tenner, and obviously I could get a free item, and I did not know what to buy for. I'm about £10 because I'm not getting money to buy if you know. 
Uh, so it was a random pick. I've seen a few, of, obviously I saw a few reviews, and I was a bit like, mm, not really bothered, but after actually getting it and trying it, I totally see why it is definitely really nice. Um, got vitamin vitamin mix with C, E and B5. So really good for the skin. What did it actually say? I it was in French. Oh yeah. Flawless, fresh and healthy looking complexion. Up to 24 hours hydration. And then non comedogenic tested on totally, you know, all that stuff. Um, so go off the skin, make sure you look really healthy and dewy as well. And 16 hour, 24 hour. So that's good, you know. I like a foundation that lasts a long time because I sometimes put it in the morning, take it off late at night, and I wanted to actually stay looking good and fresh as long as possible. And I tell you what, this. I swear by, uh, if I want my skin to look healthy and not ill as well. If I have a cold, it's my go-to. Makes me look awake, not have a cold, and more fresh and radiant and it's nice, really. And that's what I like in skin, of course. <laughs> um, so the next product is a primer, which I suppose is similar to um, the Elixir. Is the PS Pure Priming Glow Essence. Now, no, I don't have much. Mm, I have a few items from Primark makeup because you can get some really, really good stuff from Primark. Um, to be honest, I'd actually had to say that their beauty range makeup range is improving a a lot, like a lot. And so, if like you ever we come across, you know some stuff i definitely recommend to pick it up and try it because it's it's more like it'd be really good um i think i saw a review on this and they said it was really good so i thought i'd pick it up myself four pound as well so it's like a really good bargain so you know you'd have to just buy pork out fork out a lot of money to just buy one product not like it and waste that money you won't have to um but i really like it it has a nice luminosity to your skin makes it look really again healthy and dewy which again i really on your foundation so you can actually see through under the powder over the powder um again the little dropper uh and smell smells it all oh, i've got a bit on my nose <laughs> do you know what it does smell a little bit fruity so i think it is pretty similar to this actually um I don't know if you can see that, but it does have a bit of like a pink, obviously you can see there's been pink in the bottle, and a bit of a pinky hue, um, and it's really nice. I mean, it's pretty much, it's pretty similar to that actually, so I suppose similar. How much do you get? 15 million here, 30 million here, so, so that's kind of, yeah, kind of same as that. <laughs> um, it is actually quite rather well similar to that. Quite-ish similar. Obviously that's a skincare primer, um, but... It's it's a really nice glow primer if you want a bit of a luminosity, healthy looking, and also sucks in really quickly too. So it's a good all over primer. I think that's it for primer. If you're looking down, because my products are over here, um, so I'm to keep them. Is that everything? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so my next item is nothing to do with anything like that. It's just a bit of a random, quite random product actually. <laughs> It's the right. I'm going to close in the way. The Burgess Dwarf uh, hamster food. I'm putting this way because I got sent it with a hole in it. It's quite so obviously it spills everywhere. So you know, I don't want to spill it everywhere. And if you, I'm sure you probably all know because I've mentioned it quite a few times. I've got two uh, Robrowski Dwarf hamsters. My little cutie pies are so cute. Um and. Finding food with them, I'm not even going to lie, was quite difficult. I gave them the normal hamster mix from Pets at Home and they did not... They ate it, but they left quite a lot of it because I suppose they were too big for their little mouth and pouches. And also, they just didn't like a lot of stuff. Tried a different brand like hamster mix. I get exactly the same. Didn't eat some of it. Tried just hamster nuggets. They did not like them whatsoever. I mixed it in with their old food. They did not eat them. They chucked it out. And so I had to use a bit of the gerbil mix. We had no hamster fix left uh, to do for the last few days. That, don't worry, it's, it's all fine. Um, obviously, hamster and gerbil mix is pretty much the same, pretty much. Because um, you can obviously have hamster, rat, gerbil and mouse, pretty much the same food because they're pretty much kind of the same species. 
ish ish. Um, well, they're the same food anyway. They're both, they're all rodents, are they? So, um, and they're pretty much the same as that. Obviously, they only eat a certain bits. They love the flakes and the sweet corn. If you have, if you ever seen hamster or jobo muesli mix, you'll know exactly what I mean. Uh, but they only eat certain parts of it. And so, I discovered this. I have gone and bought. Well, we did buy a huge order restock from Burgess because we first found it at Pets at Home and it worked. You know, they, they loved it. Uh, and so obviously we bought, we purchased it with an empty on food. I obviously did that a few times, but unfortunately Pets at Home didn't want to sell it anymore and they still don't. They, they sell different food. And so I had to go on Burgess and buy a ton of bags so it can last me a long time. I bought like four bags. Uh, and I tell you what, it lasts a long time. And so definitely um, worth the money because things like two pounds, three pounds. £3, something like that, because that's £2.80. Um, and so, so we'll run out in time soon. But if you have a dwarf hamster struggling for food, I'd recommend the right side, yeah, uh, to give this a go because they love it. <laughs> like, they really love it. Um, and so, yeah, bit of a hamster food. So I think that is actually all the products. Um, I think there are six products. It's not as much as I'm gonna do, but you know, think I have I've been kind of like the same as the past few months. Um and a few extras, so these extras, so not anything new, but I think but these I think I definitely got to share because I really, really love them. So yes, so if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below if you like any of these products and also if you like to um and also give me any recommendations of really good products and looking for some more skincare makeup items so give me a recommendation i'll probably go and give it a go because i like to see good reviews you don't want to waste my money um i'll scroll up subscribing down below if you haven't already because i've got a lot of videos coming and i'm sure you don't want to miss them so uh, thank you all for watching and goodbye